What is going on everybody and welcome back once again. My name is Jordan, also known as J Monster. Thank you for joining me for the 14th episode of our High Elf campaign. Wow, 14 episodes are really getting up there, eh? Uh, when we left off last time, we had just handily, handily defeated the forces of Gerard's mercenaries. So what we're gonna do is try and broker a peace agreement with these guys. And we're gonna ask them for a lot of money, otherwise we're gonna destroy them. Success chance low. It's either that or die. Mmm. It's counter offer. I bet we can get more out of them than a thousand. Let's do twenty three hundred. I don't agree. It's either that or you die, so let's try eleven. Eleven hundred. They can afford it. Sigma's will. Oh well. We got a little bit more than what I expected. So now they're no longer a threat. They've only really got this one army anyway, so maybe they'll just like kind of screw off and go be someone else's problem for a while. Uh, which is going to leave us free to focus on other things. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, other things like this Skaven Revolt over here, for example. So I've moved Teclas into the city of Schotter. And hopefully that will deter these guys from any further raids on that city. I want to try and get my public order here under control, so we maybe we'll, uh, we'll get rid of this building here. Take the economy hit and just um, and just try and get the uh, the public order to be reasonable here. But we'll see. We'll see what the next turn brings. Let's go ahead and let's pass it. And what do we have over here? The last defenders? I don't care what they're doing. I'm going to skip through that. Ooh, the Star Tower. I definitely want that. Um, I think I mentioned it in one of the previous episodes, but the Star Tower is traditionally where the Ever Queen goes every 10 years and they fight some like crazy I epic battle choice, with the native denizens of Lustria and uh, stop the, I think it's the Witch Moon more sleep from like falling on the earth. It's like one of those Majora's Mask sort of things. You want me to break, no, no, because I'll get the untrustworthy trait. Don't want it. We can still be friends, Southern Sentinels. We can still be friends, but you no, know, you're not dragging me into another war. That's what happened last time. They like asked me to declare war on those guys, so I did, and then they like raided my settlements. I'm just, I think they destroyed one of our settlements, possibly. Uh, we'll take the experience for that. Really? I mean, they're raiding me. I should be able to do something about that. Arg. No, we'll just we'll just deal with it for now. We're making enough money. We've got lots of uh, lots of cash to go around, so it's okay. Um, let's see. Teclas has a skill point. We should use that something. Oh, pardon me. It's a little bit late here at the moment. Uh, I've got all that good stuff already. Yeah, I guess we should focus a little bit more on the Master Strategist. Yeah, let's finish that off. And then we'll work on Militia Master. Normally, I don't do that sort of thing because ultimately we're going to be playing with a lot of Phoenix Guard regiments and our units, like our Spearmen and stuff, are going to get phased out. And I may not want to get rid of all of my archers anyway, so I don't know. We'll think about that. I, I do want to invest in it, though, because it does make the units... That we're going to be using in the late game. Like, we'll definitely have some Wolverine Sea Guard in the late game. It does make them a little bit better in melee, but it's it's not that it's not that important. What do we got up here? Uh, definitely want two. Ooh, that needs to be upgraded for sure. Uh, but then I won't be able to put walls in here. We'll do that for the time being. Oh, we'll still have enough. Beautiful. Um, what about influence? Tyrion is not liking me for some absurd reason. Because I'm a great power. Whatever, dude. I'm your brother. Love me. There we go. That's, uh, that's quite a lot there. Let's do it one more time. I'll try to work towards maybe some confederation with Lothurn. I think we're a lot more powerful than they are. So that may be an option. Uh, let's see. Exowattle and the New World Colonists. Let's see. The New World Colonists are up there. You know what? Let's try and... Ooh, that's a lot of influence that would make these guys hate each other. It is deteriorating. Hmm. Clan Moors is doing ritual stuff. Do we... Maybe it'd be worth it to spend some, uh... 
spend a little bit of influence to try and get somebody to attack Clan Moors, perhaps? Actually, you know what? I totally forgot about this. To We've got an army over here. Let's just take this from them. We fight. Uh, there, yeah, they're super weakened. That's kind of what we wanted. Had our allies there help us out a whole lot. Oh, 6,000? Yeah, we'll take that. Now, let's see. What can we create here? Stone walls for sure. Because I'm not going to be able to stick around for too long with my armies to defend this place. And we'll pop down a uh, little public order building in there. A plaza will help with public order and also with our income. Which is doing really well right now. We've managed to recover quite nicely from uh, from raising a new army. So far, so good. Renown and Feared. Now that's going to help a lot. Wow. Look at that difference. That, that gives us enough right there for at least like one more unit in one of our armies. Or like a hero or something. Uh, before we pass the turn, let's take a quick moment here to uh, to take a look at some of our tra not our traits, but like our gear and stuff. Teclas is already pretty much as good as he's gonna get. What else can I give you in here? No, that's that's as good as you're gonna be. That's really useful. It's like an extra arcane conduit. Push up toughness, replenish his hit points. Yeah, I think he's as good as I can make him really conceivably. Yeah, everyone's kind of got, I think, what's best for them. Uh, let's see. Let's double check that. Uh, a little bit of extra public order for you. That could be useful. We got over here. Yeah, definitely want to increase that. And that, that'll help with our public order even more in Great Turtle Isle. And once that gets up to a certain threshold, then we'll start to make a lot more money in that settlement. That's one of our big money-making settlements as well. What do we got for rights? Anything here worth doing? Not really. Let's see. I kind of want to confederate with these guys. That would give us an extra ar army, which has some decent stuff in it. It'd be really expensive, though. That'll probably wipe out our... That would really screw with our economy, because I think that we're actually trading quite a lot with these guys. Um, where is... It's the finances tab. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Wow, why do they gotta make it so hard to find? I don't know. I'll look for it in uh, in a little bit. There we go. We've denied Clan Moors one of the ritual sites. I think that's all we can do for this turn. So we'll go ahead and we'll pass it. Huh? Over there on the other on the. Uh, western side of the spine of Sotek, or I guess it's the southern side if we're looking at the map. I can see Elgar Sharf, Sharf something or other. That's one of the uh, the armies from Gerard's mercenaries. So they've still got some what forces left there. I'm kind of glad I made peace with them, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, now you want me to wage war on them. I don't think so. I'm not going to drag my reputation for, through the mud just for you. In fact, if you guys keep asking me, I may have to take over your lands. Called the pleasure, started a new ritual. That's not great. Uh, my public order is okay. Uh, I could use a bit more influence. Ooh, that would really hurt my funds, though. Uh, guess we'll do that. The Empire. You know, I'm not liking I'm not liking this whole reading my lands thing. I mean, you're asking for a fight. Uh, Royal Garrison. Oh, let's see what we can build here. Yeah, we definitely want to upgrade something. That's probably the most important thing that we can do. Yeah, all of our buildings are in order. That's good. Yeah, look, another... No, that's the same army. But yeah, they've still definitely got some forces here. I think they might go and attack these guys. Would not surprise me. Well, now that we've taken that from the Skaven, and it is now ours, I think it might be a good time to move against... Yeah, I think the Skaven have been completely repulsed from uh, from Lustria at this point. I don't think they have anything left. 
Most of their armies are probably going to be over here in the Southlands, which is good. It's very good, in fact. Yeah, this has got to be where they all are right now. And they're going to fail that ritual. Uh, Nagarond is next. They got nine turns before they get another ritual. I mean, it's not super important that we deny them that, but it's, it feels good. It feels good to screw with the other factions and project a little bit of power and throw our weight around. So we could save for an intervention force, but we'll see. Uh, but so far, it looks like a lot of Lustria is ours. So we may think about consolidating the rest of the continent. I think mean, we could destroy the dwarves. Uh, we could like blitzkrieg them and take them out in a few turns. And then maybe confederate with these guys afterwards, and then we'll have Lustria as a power base, right? Um, but standing in our way is the, probably the biggest empire, and the one that I think would be the easiest for us to attack would be uh, these guys. Yeah, they're trading with pretty much no one I care about, and that would pave the way for an invasion of this uh, this area up here, which will allow us to take on Hexawaddle. So... Maybe that's what we'll do. I think that's probably the best thing we can do for now. Uh, we're trading with the dwarves and with everybody else, though our relationship is deteriorating a little bit. Or maybe I was reading that wrong. Uh, let's take a quick look. Uh, and what can the Dowie do for you? It is deteriorating. I wonder why. Day. Treaties with Lothern. They don't like Lothern. They don't like the Citadel. They don't like anybody. Maybe we will destroy the dwarves. Uh, hold on. And what can the Who's their ally? For you on we are their only there. allies, and they are trading with a few of the other people down here. So let's let's begin to prepare our armies for an invasion of the dwarf lands. Um, that's what we'll that's what we'll do for I think for the next few episodes is we'll try and just consolidate our hold on uh, southern Lustria, and then we can move north to confront uh, Hexawaddle and Nagarond, because we've already done a number on the Skaven. and they're gonna get. Um, set back quite a lot with that in about four turns. And then we can begin to focus on uh, the rest of the big factions. I don't think Hexawaddle has moved for a while, so let's take, let's take a quick look at Diplomacy while we plan this out a little bit. They have 11 settlements. I think a lot of that is probably down here. And they're currently fourth. So they are still a threat. If we march north, we can either make friends with these guys and turn them against Hexawaddle, or we can uh, we can conquer them, but I don't know. I'm not sure what we'll, we'll do there. But I definitely want to get rid of the dwarves because they're hmm. It's hard because we are trading with them, and it does make us a little bit of money. But I would prefer not to have this kind of belligerent neighbor who doesn't like me, and they don't like everybody else around us that I'm like trying to confederate with, and I think are a little bit more natural allies. So let's do that. Uh, with that in mind, of maybe it would be worth it to raise a new army. I think it probably would. Let's take a look. Uh, additional order will increase my upkeep by 7%. That's a lot, but it's not too bad. That is also really nice. Uh, very, very useful. Road. I think that was one of the... Uh, I don't know where we got him, actually. Let's take a look at the rest of them first. Uh, Hawkeye, that's useful. Retaliatory. That's kind of nice, too, that extra missile damage. Minus 10%. Nah, this guy's just too good, and he cost me nothing. Maybe I recruited him earlier. I don't know. I can't quite remember. Ooh. That really hurt our economy. Um, let's see here. Let's see. Get him a couple of those. That'll be okay for the time being. Guardian of the Phoenix Crown. Now let's move. Let's get ourselves set up this for this invasion. Prince of Elfwat. High Lawmaster of Hoeth. Uh, let's see. Where are their armies concentrated? They got one there. And a, some small they got one in the south too. A fairly sizable army down south. Uh, I may be able to induce Tor, or not Tor, Elisor, the Citadel of Dusk to fight alongside us, which would definitely be useful. You called. Uh, and I can take Nephi's Legion. Hold on, let's take a quick look here. 
Clan Wapek. The city is crumbling. <sighs> they probably won't attack us in the next few turns. Destruction mm. abounds. Nephi's armor is the only thing keeping the uh, the public order here in check. And I think he's also reducing the Skaven corruption, so we'll have to keep Nephi's Legion there for a little while. Which means we are definitely going to need that extra army. So let's go ahead and let's pass the turn. Yeah, this is... I don't know. I'm, I'm, I definitely want to take over Lustria, and I do want to attack the Dwarves. I'm just wondering what the other factions will do once we declare war on them. Because it's not going to be easy. We're like, we're going to have to attack with overwhelming force. And we're going to need all of our armies. Fire the messenger. Minus eight influence. Unhappy populace. Mm. Let's do that. That's smarter, I think. Can I offer assistance? Now let's do a quick run through of our settlements here. See if there's any economy buildings we can upgrade. Because we're definitely going to need them. Uh, yeah, colonnade. Well, I think that's good. Let's pop you into global recruitment stance. Let's make them more of an art, like an artillery stack. And give him three pieces of artillery and maybe like some lothered sea guard to defend it and such. And we'll get some white lines and some spearmen and archers for the rest of it. Hmm. You know what? It's a bit of a gamble, but I'm not gonna send Teclas over there. I'm going to send Teclas here. And we're gonna take this army and we're gonna move them over there as well. And my reasoning for doing so is that if we attack this city here with overwhelming force and we take the city of Bearded Skulls from the dwarves, which shouldn't be too hard. They've got a lot of units here, like the long the great weapons. We'll be able to shoot them down like nothing. Uh, the biggest problem is the artillery. Yes. Hmm. And it's definitely walled. Yeah, the biggest problem is definitely the artillery, but we we have our own artillery, and that might not be so terrible to deal with. And we'll have another two from this guy as well, from Dar the Patience Army. But if we break that army there, that's nearly half of their military strength that's gone in a single battle. So that's that's a big deal. How can I assist you? All right, uh, let's go ahead and let's pass the turn. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I think that's our, probably our best bet. Since we're going to be playing kind of with one hand tied behind our back, we have to keep Nephi's Legion uh, over there in um, the Altar of the Horn rat, Horned Rat to keep things from completely falling apart because of all the corruption and whatnot. And it'll be a few turns before we can even get into position anyway, so I'm kind of okay with him being where he is. Uh, the Empire. These guys are being a real nuisance. Deliver your missive and then get from my presence. Mm, they're still okay with me. They're not gonna. They may not turn on me for a little while. I think it's going up here in Chicka Bowl. So far, so good. Ah, it looks like our. Hmm, that's pretty useful. Secure influence. Now, let's see. Replenish troops. Setting the pace. So I'm down this way. My powers are yours. Techless. Guide me. Let's see. Is that army outside? Who seeks me? For the wisdom of Valaya. No, that army's definitely in there. Hmm. Guardian of the Phoenix Crown. Dauntless. What do we have here? I have another. Defender of oh, did I detach him for some reason? Protector of oh, I'm a big idiot. I did not mean to do that. I have much to teach them. Uh, let's see. No, that's fine for now. Uh, what else can we build? Cheeky bowl is fine. Everything else seems to be okay. That'll be useful for later. I was leaving with a lot of money, though. 
Okay, it's faster. Hmm. This is a bit of a gamble. It definitely is. Uh, we've got a few factions around us that may turn on us. Uh, I don't think our elven brethren will. And the Southern Sentinels probably won't. But there is still those mercenaries to deal with. You want me to join your war against the Cult of Pleasure? Why would I do that? We're, we're not really all that good of friends. Hmm. Maybe I get some money out of it. I mean, I'm not super worried about the Cult of Pleasure right now. They're quite far removed from me. There's like two army, two empires between me and them. So they're not a concern. Uh, I want to demand... Tough on a goal, yeah. Okay, so they probably won't give me that. What if I ask for a thousand? Three hundred. What am I waiting for? The end times? <gasps> we do not speak its name! You fools. Uh, counter offer. Let's try 600. Then they give us that. And it's a little bit extra, and we don't really lose anything by doing this. Yeah, it's not like the Cult of Pleasure is going to march down here while they're doing a ritual and trying to attack us. Nice, nice, that's good. Minus 5% for Lothern Seaguard, that's kind of cool. Uh, anything else in here that's of value to us? No, I guess it'll just have to be that. I always recommend going for the upkeep um, skills and things like that first. It just, it just helps you so much. Like, we wouldn't... I don't think we'd... We'd maybe barely have two armies instead of four if we didn't go for the upkeep. Like, it's it's huge. Let's see. I'll poke at you. Fine. Yeah, let's, let's make nice of these guys, so we know they're not going to attack us while we're uh, busy dealing with the dwarves. Maybe if we uh, if we butter them up enough, they will want to uh, maybe join in on beating up the dwarves, which is always exciting. Uh, let's see. No, we need to get started an army for this guy. So let's do. A couple of Sea Guard. Uh, maybe. Oh, light archers with armor. It doesn't really matter all that much, I don't think. Now we'll do a couple of just regular old archers. And. Uh, that will, I guess, do for the turn. I mean, we could get maybe one more archer if we want to pay more for it, but I don't really want to. Want to. I'm not going to pay $1,000 for. A single unit of archers that I can get for half of that, so we'll just go ahead and we'll pass the turn. Scheme of Doom performed. I assume that's one of their rites. Probably not a ritual, since we, we made sure we took that away from them. What is it? Gerhard's mercenaries, they're kind of making me nervous. Ugh. I don't like the fact that they're oh they're raiding me and they're taking so much money from me. Prime for action. By the we may have to just kill them, but I, that would pull me out of position and that would just make my life a bit of a headache. Hmm. Then again, if they start attacking us, of the Phoenix, my hand hovers close to my uh, blade. they're getting more friendly with us, so it doesn't seem like they're likely to attack us anytime soon. I'm ready. It is a nuisance though, but. I have nothing to or Maybe we should quash it. Maybe we should do something about that before they uh, become a real problem. Okay, they're pretty close to the city of Chikibol. We'll take Dara over there. Maybe we'll deal with them. I think enough turns have passed that we probably Ridiculous. won't get the untrustworthy trait. So I feel okay with that. And then maybe we can exploit them for a little bit more money afterwards. Um, let me see. Oops. One, two, three, four. Yeah, and then the archers for that I think will be okay. Maybe. Yeah, because we only have eight more slots for units there. We probably won't need quite as many archers. 
Yeah, maybe we'll get rid of one. Seven archers and three artillery pieces should be... Uh, but their archers are so good. It's so much killing power. Okay, fine. We'll do it. There it is. Do a quick look around our territory here. Let's see what we can upgrade. Ooh. That's pretty nice. Woodman's Hut. Minus 20% recruitment cost for Lothern, Spear Guard, and things. That's really nice. And I bet you that stacks. So if we can... Uh, if we can find a few more places that have the lumber resource, we'll be laughing. Alright. Pass the turn. Bloody mercenaries. Imposing ritual failed. Clan Moors, the ritual of gnawing. Ha! Ha, I say. That's really good. That's pleasing. We've done an okay job of uh, of keeping people from doing the rituals. We don't really have to, though. That's one of the things that kind of bugs me about the campaign, is that there's, there's no real reason to do the, uh, to do the Vortex stuff. I mean, there's really not. Your will is done. On a call. In fact, there's every reason not to do it. Because if I were to start it right now, and, like, had to, having to deal with those Chaos armies, it would... They would show up somewhere where I wasn't expecting to have them, and then they just like burn down half my empire and sent me back like 20 turns. Like it's it's more of an annoyance, really. Minus three percent upkeep for Phoenix and Dragon units. Don't have any of those yet, but it would be nice when the time comes. Uh, I guess we can do that. Lord of the Phoenix Court. Rodar can continue to sit there for the time being. Oh, uh, let's see. Do we have a grove over here, yes? The Asa bid you welcome. Uh, where is our grove? I was almost certain we had one. We are guardians of order. Marching out. Move over that way. Alright, well, let's have a battle. Guardian. Uh, let's talk to these guys, because... Non-aggression pact. I'm going to declare war against them. Uh, I won't need my allies to help me out with this. There's really no reason. Although I could drag them into it if I wanted to. Maybe they'll hunt them down for me. Yeah, I'm joined by all my allies. Where to? Let's attack them. Let's have a battle. We'll end the, we'll end the episode after this. Alright, I'll see you guys on the battlefield. Hmm, all things considered... I mean, that's a pretty fearsome stack that they've got there. So, we will put our spearmen on the back lines here. Uh, we'll move these guys up ever so slightly. Just enough. So that they're immediately within range. It's a shame I can't space them out. You know? It's a shame that there's no loose formation anymore. It's, it's kind of... I don't know why they would do that. Uh, white lions, we'll have them in reserve. We'll move them up when the time is ripe. We'll have the noble over here. And we'll have Dar himself. Leading more or less from the front. He's going to be there with the artillery. Uh, that should be sufficient. Yes, we'll keep those guys there. Alright, let's go ahead and let's start the battle. And we'll direct their fire. It's where they are most numerous. Uh, that is an ugly thing right there. So let's go ahead. Move forward our artillery. Move forward with the rest of our artillery, try and dodge it, which we successfully did, more or less. Move our spearmen up. We'll try and neutralize their artillery batteries to establish range superiority. And we'll be able to dictate the terms of the fight. It's probably the best thing we can do. Put Dar there on the front line because he is a brave man. He leads from the front. We'll have the noble out there as well. These guys are trying to snipe that artillery. Which they are doing a pretty good job of. I haven't taken down any of the pieces yet. Oh, there we go. We got one of them. It's a beautiful thing. Let's see, they've got their own ranged cavalry units threatening my front, which is okay. We do still have my cavalry in reserves. So we're going to start to pull them out now. 
Actually, hold on. There's no reason to do that just yet. So I'll move them forward slightly. But our archers and things like that, they should be able to deal with those outriders fairly handily. And now the rest of them, slowly moving forward. I have an idea. Dar's got the ability to heal himself, so we're actually just going to throw him in there and like have them bunch up around him. We won't let him die. And then we can just focus fire with our archers. Like That would be no problem. Look at that. And now, we can do that. Let's bring out the cavalry, chase these guys off. The Outriders are no match. She will train one of our Lothern Sea Guard on them, just to make sure that they're dealt with. Ooh, oh, those, uh, those gunmen doing a number on us. Come on, guys, you can do this. And we'll turn our sights on those. It's probably the smarter thing to do. Alright, so we'll send one of our Silver Helms after the Cav, one after the Artillery Pieces, and we'll destroy them. Uh, you guys should not be doing that. So we got some Black Orcs here, impacting our front lines. We're going to send our White Lions after them. This is working so far. Let's pop that, just to keep them topped up. Ooh. That's an ugly thing for those Black Orcs indeed. They look cool, though. Kind of miss Black Orcs. You don't see too much of the Old World races in this campaign. There's a little bit, but not much. Oop. Lost Micro there a little bit. You guys can do that to save our Silver Helms a little bit of trouble. Ooh, that's going to be a mass route for those handgunners. There we go. We've silenced their ranged firepower. Now we can just continue to pour on the pressure. Our White Lion's in there against the Black Orcs. That's going to be ugly for them. Dar doing it very well for himself. Alright. Now let's train our artillery fire there. This is actually a really good idea. Dar is quite the tank. Like, look at this. Yeah, they're already starting to rout. Like, that's easy peasy right there. We took almost zero casualties and now they're all shattering. Game over. Well, this, that was a good idea. I'm, I'm pleased that we did that. Like, they barely even made it to our front lines. These white lions here being all magnificent. Running down those black orcs who are just, like, dying for no reason. There's, like, no animations going off. It's like they're playing tag or something. It's like freeze tag and they just fall down dead. It's kind of silly. Um, But that should do it. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to end that right there. There you go. There's your casualty screen. 54 losses. I mean, that, that was a decent army, too. Like, that's a lot of halberdiers, a lot of black horses, a lot of AP. A lot of guns and things like that. We worked the them over. It was good. Conquered. It's beautiful. Um, this is not actually as important anymore now that we have a, uh, a noble in the army. He's going to help us replenish Their a little bit. What is more important, I suppose, it must is exper... Ooh. Ooh, but that's a lot of money, and we kind of need it right now. Minus five percent casualties. We probably won't be in any battles for a little while. I'm gonna give that to Free him. Them. So let's take the money. Defender of the Phoenix Throne. Very, very nice. Well known. Um. Mm, that would be more useful because I want to use this guy in the battlefield. I want to use him uniquely. Guardian for um, his battlefield prowess, like the anti-large that he brings to the table. Oh, crap. <laughs> Did it again! The greater good has triumphed. Did not mean to do that. But as I was saying, I want to use him mo mostly for his battle prowess and for the replenishment he lends to the army. Helps him stay in the fight for longer. Uh, but he's not going to be, like, public order oriented or anything like that. Uh, let's see. Chakwa probably doesn't need a militia camp. Let's... Yeah, we'll definitely get rid of that. No need for us to have that. Uh, we'll do that. That's going to get us the most money in the long run. Uh, and let's see here. I serve the king. Prime for action. 
yeah, that's all we can do. Let's go, uh, actually, you know what? That'll be the end of the episode right there. And uh, then we'll pick it up in episode 15. I hope you guys enjoyed so far. And uh, I will see you in episode, fi in episode 15. See you later, everybody. Bye-bye.